Last month, Perseverance began an epic climb up the rim of Jezero Crater to explore new science targets on the outside. After three weeks and ten drives, Perseverance was only about a tenth of the way up. But then something changed on this episode of Mars Guy. Perseverance has completed its exploration of the Delta Fan deposited by an ancient river, as well as other scientifically compelling targets inside Jezero Crater. Now it's climbing out of the crater after departing the Naret Vivalis River Channel, but the slopes covered in loose sand and gravel have made for slow going. In one notable drive, Perseverance managed to go only three meters. Here's Mars Guy for scale. The wheel slip is clearly evident in the way the tracks broaden over this short segment. The first 10 drives gained about 100 meters of elevation across a map distance of about 320 meters. That's roughly a 31% grade, or about 17 degrees, which is San Francisco grade steepness, but with nasty sand and gravel deposits. Just after its dismal 3 meter drive, Perseverance diverted to a nearby outcrop for a science stop. There it encountered the enigmatic rocks of the margin unit, which are relatively rich in carbonate minerals, clear evidence for the interaction of water. It found colors and texture similar to the rocks of Seta, the terrain on the floor of Jezero Crater with olivine-rich rocks thought to have formed from igneous processes then altered by water to form small amounts of carbonate. After a 10 sol investigation, Perseverance drove away, only managing to go about 36 meters, roughly 1% of the distance needed to get to the top. The team apparently decided on an abrupt course correction into clearly different terrain. This resulted in the first triple-digit drive since the floor of Naret Vivalis. The change in terrain is clearly evident on the ground as well. Perseverance was greeted by a landscape of relatively flat fractured outcrops, more reminiscent of the margin unit it first encountered compared to the boulder-covered version it struggled through later. The second drive across this terrain exceeded the first, and the third drive beat the second one. So, over the course of three drives and four sols, Perseverance has covered more ground than the previous 10 drives. Some of that success is due to the shallower slopes along the route, including going downslope on the first segment. But the second and third segments had grades in the 7-8% to 8% range, so still considered steep. The path ahead looks like similar terrain for the next 500 meters or so. The elevation gain is only about 40 meters, but Perseverance will have to traverse steep cross slopes of about 20% grade. That's where having solid rock underfoot, or wheel, will be helpful. But the planned path after that will require Perseverance to climb slopes of about 25% grade. That's about 14 degrees, less than the roughly 31% grade it started on, but still very steep. The smooth appearance of the surface along the route resembles the sand and gravel covered path of the earliest drives, but hopefully we'll discover something there that enhances Perseverance's drive. <laughs> 